In this video, we're going to take a look at the performance mode for Dying Light the Beast. This is similar to my last video where I tested the performance mode for Metal Gear Solid Delta. And this time around, I found one for Dying Light the Beast, which, by the way, is Steam Deck verified. But honestly, I don't think it deserves that stamp. Without further ado, let's get into it. In its current state, the game frequently drops below 25 FPS, especially in big fights. So what you're seeing right now is a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, the game before the mod, and on the right, with the mod applied. The mod is called Eclipse Mode, and it's actually really easy to install. I'll show you how to do it later in the video. In terms of FPS difference, this one isn't as dramatic as Metal Gear Solid Delta. Sometimes, like the one you're seeing right now, you only gain 1 or 2 FPS difference, sometimes up to 7 or 8. It really depends on what's happening on the screen. In high intensity moments like this early boss fight with the Chimera, the game used to drop to around 24 FPS. With the mod, the lowest I've seen is about 27 FPS and it generally stays above 30 far more consistently. So while it's not magic, it will give you some improvement. Now, about the visuals, I don't think there's much degradation going on here. In fact, I think the image actually looks sharper with the mod applied. Without it, you can see some bloom and haze that is typical for the Dying Light games. But with the mod, that effect is mostly gone. So what I think the mod is doing is it's probably disabling some sort of post-processing filter, those extra effects that give Dying Light its cinematic look, but they're also heavy on performance. Personally, I think the sharper image is better and especially on the Steam Deck small screen, you can't really see that much of a degradation in terms of visual quality. So for my personal taste, I think the mod looks great. By the way, this is all tested with all the settings set to low and XCSS set to balanced. In my original Dying Light the Beast video, I compared XCSS, FSR and TAAU and I still think XCSS looks the best on the Steam Deck. Here we're running in the forest and without the mod, you're looking at 30 to 35 FPS, dropping to around 32 in bigger areas. With the mod, we're seeing 40 to 44 FPS and during combat, it might dip into the 30s, but it's not gonna go below 30 most of the time. Because with the mod, the game now runs over 30 FPS most of the time, it's actually a great candidate for lossless scaling. With the mod and lossless scaling, I think the game feels fantastic, there's minimal input lag, and it looks super smooth. Uncapped, I was seeing around 70 FPS, dropping to about 60 in fights, and if you cap it at 60 FPS, it will be much more stable. Just note, if you're upscaling from 30 to 60, you'll get some UI artifacting like flickering mission text or spaghetti looking hut elements especially here on the left you can see when i turn left and right it just turns into shit but if that doesn't bother you playing the game locked to 60 feels amazing after applying the mod and after using lossless scaling. All right, let's go over how to install it. The Eclipse mod comes from, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, a group of Russian developers, so single Russian developer, and they've made versions for several different games. So some of the latest games that came out in 2024, 2025, they have this Eclipse mod for them. And normally you would have to dig through their Telegram groups to find it, and you will have to deal with the language barrier. But since that might be an issue for some of you, I've already downloaded it and uploaded it to a Dropbox I will link it in the description. Now I want to give full credit to the Eclipse team for their work. I'm not trying to steal their mod. I'm just trying to make it easier for you to access it. To install it, go to desktop mode, download the mod archive, then open Steam, right click Dying Light the Beast, manage browse local files, and then you just have to extract the mod into that folder. It will try to overwrite the ph uh, underscore ft folder. Just select yes, overwrite everything and to install some new files. When you do launch the game, you'll see a warning saying your game may be modified. That means it's working. And I think you'll notice the performance difference right away. So yeah, that's a quick showcase for the mod. It's not as big a jump as the Metal Gear Solid mod, but it definitely makes Dying Light the Beast a lot more playable and honestly brings it closer to truly deserving that verified batch. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and after you're done with the video, maybe you can check out my Steamflow curator page and join the Steam group. I post all my benchmarks marks and reviews there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.